Fixing the Education Culture If you saw my previous presentation, American Education, a Strategy to Collapse the System, the Ideological Subversion of America, then hopefully you'll understand how dire the situation is to reform our public education system, or get rid of it, whichever the case may be in America. The solution is simple. Show up and keep showing up. If every conservative resolved to attend just one public school board meeting a year, there would be enough conservatives showing up to the fight to fill the school governing board chambers at every meeting. That is, of course, if you have at least 5,000 conservatives in your community. Yet, most of the time, when you go to these meetings, there are no other conservatives in the room. Now, if that conservative is you, you might give up and go home hopeless that there is anything that can be done since you are alone in the fight. Taint so. One person with desire can make a lot happen. And if another conservative does show up, they will know that they are not alone. That equals encouragement. I could be heavyweight champion of the world if no one showed up to fight me. The left wins simply because we don't show up enough. But this problem like many things in life, does not require a superhuman effort to fix, but rather a commitment, however large or small, over a long period. And if you get together with other like-minded folks, you can spread the workload and, dare I say it, get organized. Also, know that many have come before you who face the same problem of needing to fix the system, but not knowing how. But they did learn. The thing is, our public school system needs to be exposed to conservative ideas because we have good ideas. Get started. Now I'm going to lay out some things you can do to get the ball rolling. I list a lot. No need to try to do all of them at once. Just pick a one or more and settle in for the long haul. 1. Show up. Attend school board meetings and study sessions as often as you can. Get to know the folks running the school boards and the schools. Take notes, ask questions, and voice your opinion. Report. Share what you learn with other conservatives in the community through 912 groups, Tea Party groups, your local precinct, committee men meetings, etc. Start a blog or use an existing blog, website, or online newspaper to disseminate information you have gained. Get organized. Become a facilitator. What I mean is be a focal point for organizing meetings of other conservatives. Meetings should be social events as well as events that try to get things done. There should be a balance here, but remember, reforming education is a long-term project that will take a generation or more, 15 to 20 years at least. Meet in private homes, coffee shops, libraries, restaurants, whichever is best suited to your needs. Start your own local online newspaper. You can make money at this if you do it right. Just show integrity in your reporting and conservatives will learn to trust your information. Most of the established media is too biased to be of any use to conservatives. Run for school board. Again, many have come before you and are eager to help you get into the fray. Once you get on the school board, join the State School Board Association. They are a very influential body. Support someone you trust for school board. Get conservatives elected and then show up to the school board meetings to show your support for them. That really helps and remind them that they should not let the left-wing establishment pressure them into doing the wrong things. Go to your local Republican precinct commitment meetings and seek out the true conservatives who have common sense. Become a self-appointed school board member. If, if there uh, so many liberals in your area that you can't get a conservative elected or you can't get one elected for other reasons, 
to show up and do the things on this list. You can still influence the process. If you stick it out, eventually you will have an impact. Networking. Again, reach out to those who have come before you. There are a lot of people that have already been in this fight. Not always in your own school district. But you can benefit from their experience all the same. And here I list some resources. This is not a complete list, but this will get you started.